Well, hello everybody on this hump day, it is the Punisher. Let me start off with a couple of funny things. One, this telegram nonsense. What on earth is it with all of these fake Punisher accounts? And more so, why is it that nobody can decipher the difference? Once again, the Punisher Durham is the only real one. Look at the username, folks. Somebody was talking about getting jammed up with some crypto. Punisher doesn't do that. I wouldn't post anything like that, and I sure wouldn't be asking for any of your crypto keys. So, enough of that nonsense. If you see it, it's spam, fake. Just delete it and block it. By the way, Pop-Tarts, really, I didn't say they were healthy. It's called funny, okay? So no, I'm not pushing an unhealthy product. I don't need to hear it anymore, but I do like Pop-Tart, yeah, so there. And you've been watching the Supreme Court, find, uh, find not findings, but uh, final, uh, final words, we'll call them. I think it's very humorous about the student loan one, particularly when look behind me, Pelosi herself said, does not have the authority to relieve debt. For debt forgiveness. That is funny. He does not. And now, let's get on to some Punisher points. But first, it's time to pay the bills. We'll be right back. Our national debt is bullish for gold. And as you watch the recent budget crisis end with nominal cuts to the budget, our federal government ended up with a no-limit credit card. And just one day after, the U.S. Treasury increased our debt by $350 billion. In 2010, our debt was $13 trillion and gold was $1,000 an ounce. In 2020, that debt jumped to $23 trillion in gold at $1,500 an ounce. Well, today, our debt, $32 trillion, and gold is $2,000 an ounce. Bloomberg recently stated that gold appears to be like a caged bull waiting for a catalyst, and the real estate crisis is indeed that catalyst. So call 1-888-598-9909 or visit www.edkgold.com and mention my channel, and you'll get special treatment and get a packet sent right out to you. So did everybody see Shania Twain? <laughs> she slipped with her cowboy boots, fell on her butt, got right back up, and got back to it. She's a patriot. That is too cool for school. But guess what's coming up? In the coming days, we just had Independence Day. Is that a prelude to something else? Keep your ears open or keep your eyes open. We'll keep them both open because things are getting ready to happen and Operation Predator 2.0 is all part of that big mix. What else do we got going on? Did you know? I'll have a blue, blue Christmas without you. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's already almost Christmas. Good Lord, it's halfway through the year. Uh, but a little Blue's Clues. So did you hear it? Did you hear about that white substance that was found in the West Wing of the White House? <laughs> I wonder who that belonged to. It was determined to be cocaine. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. How did that mysteriously get there? One never knows. Except the Punisher. <laughs> and check this out. I have to read this just a little bit so I don't mess up the name, but uh, country artist Colt Ford and rapper Chris Calico joined together on the 4th of July and formed the, what do they call it? The Hoodbillies, not Hillbillies, the Hoodbillies. And they made a song called Badass American. It just goes to show that there are patriots all around us. And now, have I given you enough hints? Okay, Operation, Operation Predator 2.0. Heads are rolling. I know you liked all those heads falling from the sky. 
They're still back there. I didn't have a chance to pick them up. In fact, maybe I'll leave them back there along with that box that just dropped. Thank you very much. And now, Scrooge and Spidey Bulger, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, I can't just leave yet. I have to say thank you for all of those folks that followed me on Truth Social. The Punisher is on Truth Social. The Punisher, real. I put it in the last video. Okay. I'll see you there. Thanks for following. And we'll post stuff there too. And now, oh, screw James Whitey Bulger. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, it is uh, yours truly. I uh, just wanted to come by and say hello and uh, tell you that uh, uh, Operation uh, Predator 2.0 is going along uh, very well. Uh, it feels good to kind of uh, unmask a little bit. And, uh, oh, uh, fellas, uh, let's look into uh, reopening uh, Operation uh, Aurora. Uh, and uh, screw James Whitey Bulger. We'll talk to you later. Bye.